Alright, hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tony, I am with the Preferred Nerds, and uh, I am just going to do myself another little EverQuest video because, well, it's stupid addicting and who doesn't want to talk about EverQuest? Alright, so today I've been doing something I actually wanted to uh, discuss a while ago. Uh, farming and camping. Uh, I am in a nostalgic place uh, that I called home for a really long time early on in my days, and that was Crushbone. I am specifically on top of Orc Hill, uh, and you will see in a minute here that I am going after the Orc Trader. So he is a named mob that drops a shiny brass shield, and that is the item I am farming today. But most people also use this area as a camp. Uh, a camp is specifically just an area that uh, yourself or a group of adventurers can go to, and you'll get XP from killing your mobs. Uh, now I guess I'm kind of being a douche. I have my mid-level rogue, uh, so I'm completely overpowered and I realistically should not be using him for this situation, but you know, I just wanted to make a demonstration for everybody. So I think I made a couple of lobies mad the fact that I was at this camp during this time, but I was only here for an hour or so just trying to get the shiny breast shield to make a demonstration. But farming, uh, essentially off this work trainer that you see right here, uh, is going for an item. In EverQuest, all item drops are static. So you can go look up the item and know specifically who drops it and more or less the variations on how long it could take uh, depending on your luck. You know, it could be a couple hours, it could be 10 minutes, it could be a couple of days or weeks just depending on how often or how much you play the game. So as you see, first kill, no love, just a small roll high cloak, who cares? destroy that later. But um, in this camp specifically, uh, this is a quite often pop, as you see. Another orc trainer, no problem. But sadly, no love. So in this regards, being at this camp uh, actually has some extra benefits. Um, these orc centurions have a chance of dropping a crushbone belt. And you can take pairs of those crushbone belts and you can go to Kaladim, which is the dwarf home city, and turn in pairs of them. For every pair that you turn in, if you're low level, you actually get a significant amount of experience and a piece of small patchwork armor or rawhide armor. I'm not quite sure which. Uh, but again, if you're low level and experiencing with a group and collecting these on the side, it could be a nice little boost of experience after your adventure's over. There's a belt right there. Just exactly what I to prove. So I had three so far at this point, but uh, I'm sure you've noticed by now I just cut and splice a bunch of videos in because this is like a 10 minute spawn cycle uh, and spawn cycles can vary you know, between which mob you're camping. Some are 20, some are 30, some are days or weeks even depending on when the mob is up. But nobody wants to watch 10 minute cycles of what six mobs that are around this little campfire here as I try to collect a few orc belts and uh, my shiny brush shield. So what I really want to do is just drill across the point of hey this is a camp. This is what part of this game entails. You are either with yourself or a group of people. You're going to try to keep your fingers crossed that the named mob spawns and you can collect your treasure for your farm. Or, if you're camping for experience, you can just camp here all day, gain your little bit of experience as you go on, and get your next level and on to your next adventure. So, uh, this cycle that I'm doing right here is, I admit, probably boring as crap, but I wanted to prove a point that that spawn right there is normally the one where the orc trainer spawns, and he didn't spawn this cycle. So this is, you know, part of the disappointing factor, part of the grind factor that's there, that, hey, not every time you're going to see your mob and have a chance of it dropping sometime, you know, it's just going to be a complete miss. Because those other ones before, he spawned, but didn't have his shield on him. Just had another random item. But the benefit of that was, I did get another Crushbone belt, so I can go turn in a pair of those now and go wherever. Hey, look! Two. Back to back. Alright. So, uh, as we start to wrap up here, uh, I think I'm just going to splice into another video. Is that right? I did. Okay. And this is just going to be uh, once around the camp to kind of show these spawn points. You can actually see all three, but nothing too important here. And again... The point of this video is simply to describe camping and farming. So if you're camping with a group, you're looking for experience, perhaps there are quest items along the route, hey look, nice splice ahead. And then you're going to go turn in your quest items, finish up your group, 
be happy with the experience you got, and maybe have a little loot along the way, which in case would be called farming. So the farm is about to finish up right here, because I know I've spliced this ahead to where he is finally going to drop my shiny brush shield, but as you can see, the daylight to nighttime of the video kind of gives you an idea of the duration of how long I just had to hang out to make this silly little thing. Uh, there he is, there he is. So let's take him down real quick and collect my just rewards and then I'll let you guys go. Uh, I always have fun making these videos and I hope you guys at least get a little something to learn about, you know, if it's not just the nostalgia of EverQuest, uh, something that maybe perhaps you're redoing or reliving on uh, one of the emulated servers or uh, even now that Sony is, has EverQuest free to play. But hey look, there it is, my shiny brass shield. Let's uh, click on it, show you some stats. Again, real basic, 10 armor class, Ten uh, safe versus magic. Woohoo! Uh, it's it's an alright item. You know something that you need magic resist against. It's great for just a basic offhand, but for most classes, it's just kind of a meh. But still, it's where camping began. Uh, kill the last guy. Check for a little belt. Hmm, no luck. And you know what? Finally, let's just show off. There it is. Show off the reward. Let's turn around. Give you guys a little cheer. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, if you like it, hey, subscribe. If not. Eh, you don't have to. Leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you guys in-game.